Wagab. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the W204 Stealth Invisible dash cam for your Mercedes Benz. Now they also make this for other Mercedes Benz models, you know, C class, CLK, M class, A class, all different models. You just have to find the dash cam that has the same type of case cover for the rain sensor because that's where it's going to install. And that's the beauty of it. It replaces your rain sensor cover. So instead of this being there, you have a dash cam in place now. That's why they call it a stealth slash invisible dash cam. But obviously it's not invisible because you can still see it. This is the dash cam here. All right, it's called the Big Big Road Model Car DVR. Manufacturer Big Big Road Code LTD. Made in China. Now, I know you're probably thinking it's Chinese, so it's probably crap. But let me tell you, if you are one of those people who believes that this society would be possible without all the Chinese manufacturing. Now, I'm not being biased at all. I'm just saying that if it wasn't for all the copying and manufacturing that China produces, we wouldn't have half the products we do in our stores. Basically, everything is made in China now. So to simply have a conflicting view because it's made in China and to simply think that it is bad just because it's made in China. If you're one of those people who thinks that something made in China is of bad quality, then I have to tell you that you have to do a little bit more research. You have the really good stuff, but then you also have the bad quality. Now, I'm not saying China is perfect. It is far from it. They have bad quality. They have scams, just like every other country. All I'm really saying is that they do make good products. Just because it's made in China, it doesn't mean that you should deter from it. I mean, obviously, if it's made in Germany or, you know, America or maybe even Australia, it is probably going to be a little bit better. Even some things made in USA or Germany, France, etc. Some of them are not the best as well. I mean, take the Mercedes-Benz, for example. A W204 has so many common faults and you'd think that Mercedes-Benz would have that perfected, but they don't. And that's the problem. So, you know, enough of that. This is the product right here. Let me bring you guys inside and show you exactly what you get in the box. And um, from there, we'll uh, take it to the car and install it. And I'll briefly show you guys how you route the cables. I've already done videos showing you how to install a dash cam, which I released a while ago. So if you click on the links in the top right hand corner now, you'll see the videos in which I do a amp and sub install and in that video you'll see how to remove the lower panels and the kick panel so that you can route a cable from the front to the back it also shows you how to get through the firewall in case you want to use the front fuse box as a power source and in the dash cam video I also show how to route the cables from front to back if you have a front and a rear dash cam so that's going to be very helpful for this but in this video I'll briefly do a demonstration as well showing you how to route the cables so let's get into it. Okay, so here we have the whole camera set out and as you can see, it's a very simple guided way to connect. Uh, you have your color coded, color coordinated connections. Okay, here's your power cable for your front camera. So your red goes to red and then you've got your ground and then you've got your battery connection and your accessory connection. Now these used to have fuses on the end of them but I can't use this style of fuse because I use the um, standard fuse blades so I cut them off and now here is my testing device so I've connected my ground and I've connected the battery and the accessory both to the positive that way we can just see how everything works right now. You simply connect your red to red and then that is your front camera and as for your rear camera that plugs into your rear camera. You also have a AV cable as well in case you want to connect it to an external screen and be able to see your camera all the time. We're not going to do that but if you ever wanted to do that you can easily connect it to a app which is called the MioCam app. MioCam, I've already downloaded it. I'm just going to open it up and then we simply connect to it. Connect to the Wi-Fi of it, which is car DVR. All the information is on the front of the camera. As you can see, there is a QR code there and it tells you the app Mio Cam, the Wi-Fi ID and also the Wi-Fi password. Now we connect to the Wi-Fi ID. Done. And it will simply connect you to your cameras. Here's a closer picture of it. So here we have our rear camera. Pretty good footage really, not too bad at all. I mean, all you really want is at least 1080p. The front camera, it's a pretty good camera. You can see all the details of my hand, 
I just want to show you guys some of the settings in here. You will stop recording. So here we have, you can change your password, you have your audio switch on or off, your G sensor, low, medium, high, off, and then you have your video segmentation, one minute to five minutes. You have your parking monitor, and then you have your device information, just tells you how much storage you have on your SD card. And then you have, you can format your SD card here and you can restore back to default settings. And that's it really, a very basic dash cam, but works very well with very good graphics in order for you to see everything that is happening from your dash cam. And in case ever you get into an accident or something happens on the road that you need to be able to use as evidence, then a dash cam is always going to be a very safe option and uh, it will definitely help you in situations where someone believes that you did something wrong but you have all the evidence on camera. And that's why it's really good to have not only a front dash cam but also a rear dash cam as well. It really does also help with insurance as well. Um, insurance companies love dash cams because they get that peace of mind that if anything were to happen you have it all on video and just to show you guys that yes you can connect it to a AV source via that yellow cable it gives you all that information right there now let's uh, bring this to the car and I'll show you guys how to install this dash cam it basically just replaces this we'll pry this down just get a trim removal tool get it in there and pry down this will come straight down and it has to sit right along here See that line there right here that has to line up with this part here this is where all your cables are and you need to decide which one's going which way I've already done video showing how to route these cables it's just a matter of uh, doing it so I'll just push this up make sure it lines up I'm just making sure that it's all the way in and it's flush so now I'm just going to show you how you get your cable from the top to this side here so you don't have to pull off all this but uh, you don't have to remove this at all this is how you do it you pull down your weather strip and you get a zip tie like this a long one if it's not long enough just connect two together duct tape your cable to your zip tie and push it on in through here this will guide it out to the front here okay so as you can see here get it through and pull it all the way through I've already done that and then you can just pull your cable on through and route your cable all along the head trim you can uh, easily hide it underneath there like so just ensure you have enough cable so that it can plug in together now I'll just show you quickly at the back how you do that now make sure that you route your cable on the inside of the door panel do not accidentally run it in between here or else you're gonna have to take it out and do it all over again very simple really easy what you do is the exact same thing pull down your weather strip tuck the zip tie in until it comes out the top here as you can see it does come out the top right there just here and that's how you get your cable through then all you do now is just guide it on through and it will look just like this and that's how you get your cable through from here to here now it's just a matter of connecting up your cable to your rear camera and mounting it and that's basically how you get your cables from the roof to the back or from the side of the roof to the front when it comes to the middle here as you can see there my cable is just tucked in right behind the liner right there you don't have to remove any of this you simply just tuck it in push it on in and tuck it in then help the liner over it like so and that will help to hide your cable that's how you get it through this part here so for my first dash cam I completely forgot that I did use the front fuse box I must have got mixed up with uh, my amplifier and my subby connection because that's where I routed the cables to the back. So these are the connections that I'm using here. I have my ground and I connected it to this here. And then I have the battery connection and the accessory connection. Your yellow goes to your battery and the red goes to accessory. It even tells you and it's even labeled. So if you look here, you can see ACC, that's for accessory. And on here you can see B plus which means battery now the reason why you connect one to the battery is so that the parking monitor mode is going to work without connecting it to the battery your parking monitor isn't going to work meaning that whenever it detects someone walking past your car or some sort of vibration it will automatically turn on the parking monitoring feature where it begins to record for a certain amount of time just in case someone is trying to do something fishy in front of you or someone bumps into your car that way it shakes the car and it sets off the parking monitor it's a good feature to have if you do not connect the battery then 
it's not going to work. The parking monitor isn't going to work because it's not going to have any power to it. And what sets it off are the sensors. So vibration as well as movement. So motion detection sensor. That is also going to set off the parking monitor sensor. So I strongly suggest that when you get a dash cam, make sure you have all these features because they really do come in handy. So now we're just going to solder, every, solder everything together and uh, tuck all the wires back in. How we're going to route the, the front cable is we're going to tuck it under the headliner here, come down the front here. We'll go down the, the A pillar here and then just drop down the side right here and then tuck it in behind the footwell panels. Let's get doing that. Twist our ground together. All right, there we go. Just to show you guys, I ended up using fuse number 36 because it was the only fuse that allowed me to use the fuse tap and not have anything in the way. I routed the cable to the battery on that side and the rubber grommet I am talking about is just down in here. You will see it. Just put a light down here and you will see a rubber grommet just there. In my other videos, I show you exactly where that is. Put everything back and uh, see how it looks. Tuck it in there like that. Oh, this is just gonna sit behind our kick panel like so. And then as for our AV cable, I'm just going to tuck it in and drop it in the side here. And if I ever decide to use it, I can just pull it back out again. Put everything back in. Perfect. We wanna go behind the airbag. Really, you just wanna follow this cable here. It's already behind the airbag. And zip tie it down. Originally, I was gonna run the, the front camera on the other side, but I'm gonna run it on this side, so I'm gonna have to take this off again. So what you're doing here is you're lifting off the cover and you're tucking it in here where it will help to hide it because you do have this part here which helps to hide the cable so you do it to both sides tuck it in there and get it on look at that you can't even tell there's wires there at all no wires at all exactly how you want it no wires showing whatsoever cables completely routed Now I'm just going to put everything back together and uh, show you guys how it finally looks. Completely installed. The Stealth dash cam for the W204. As you can see, there are no wires showing whatsoever. And that's exactly how you want it. No wires anywhere to be seen. It really is a very clean install. And you know what? It even looks really nice as well. Okay, let's just test to make sure everything works. We have a 64 gig SD card in. Get a decent one. That way your files will transfer quickly and also save quickly as well. And look at that. Nice and clear, guys. Very good. I'm very impressed with the quality and I'm very happy. And as you can see, it really is very stealthy. Better than most dash cams out there where you actually see the dash cam. This gives it that real stealthy look and makes it feel like it's retrofitted and made for the car. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you found this video helpful, like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. See you in the next one.